First Cobalt's vision is to create a vertically integrated cobalt company. Since putting the company together in 2017, the company has really come a long way. Uh, I described 2017 as really a year of putting the pieces together. We merged four companies, we raised capital, we completed our M&A transactions, we picked up a refinery and some great assets here in North America. And this year we're going to start to deliver on some important catalysts to bring us forward to the next stage of our growth. This refinery is a hydrometallurgical facility. It has a pressure oxidation circuit for the autoclave, we have an SX circuit, and we have a Merrill Crow circuit for precious metals. And this refinery has an operating history, it's got permits in place, and it's situated in North America, just 600 kilometers away from, from the state of Michigan. So it could be a really important contributor to the electric vehicle production lines here in the continent. The dominant use for cobalt is in the lithium batteries. You know, these batteries are, are charging our phones, are charging our computers, charging our electric vehicles. And that is actually where the most of the growing demand comes from. The refinery currently sits on a 40 acre land package, which is enough capacity for the foreseeable future. However, we have a much longer term plan where we have an additional 80 acres, bringing the total land package to 120 acres for future tailings management expansion. This refinery has quite a generic flow sheet with it and that gives us the ability to process a variety of different feed materials with making very limited changes to the flow sheet. Some of those materials might include recycled battery materials, a cobalt hydroxide material, as well as things like spent petroleum catalysts. So within First Cobalt, we've got a couple of really good projects, one in Ontario in the Cobalt Camp and the other in Idaho, the Iron Creek project, which is gonna be our flagship in terms of mine development. But this, this opportunity here that we have in the refinery is to generate cash flow before those assets are even ready for, for production. This refinery is capable of producing between 1,000 and 3,000 tons of cobalt in product every year. The refinery study that we've recently completed outlines a number of restart scenarios. From current configuration to one that would be a fairly significant expansion to a 50 ton a day throughput. And that's frankly a function of the feed sources we're looking at and the, the amount of cash flow we can generate and margin that would come with that. So we're going to pick a path forward that will dictate how we get this up and running in the most effective manner for, for us and our shareholders. I was raised in Northern Ontario, so I know what this refinery means to the local community. We've had nothing but fantastic community support for every step along the way, for everything that we're trying to do. In general, the reception to the work we've been doing in these areas have been quite good. You know, as the geologists, as sort of the first people in on projects, uh, we engage with the First Nations, uh, you know, and that is something uh, specifically here in Canada. We'd be as honest as we can. This refinery, I think, figures very prominently in our future. It's a unique asset that most juniors never have a chance to own. And we're going to leverage this along with the amazing work that the team is doing in Idaho and the team here in, in Ontario in the Cobalt Camp and, and, and try to play the three assets off one another to create the, the, the most value for our shareholders in the quickest time possible.